So guys, welcome back to some more Firewatch episode number 5. If you guys want to see loads of videos today on this game, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will try and do that. I'm pretty going to play it the whole day, because I'm, I'm addicted, so yeah. Anyway, let's continue, let's go. So apparently we've got to head up this direction, to the meadow. Quick zoom in. Yeah, go up that little path there. So if we go stick to this left bit, then we should be good, hopefully. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Yeah, I think it's down there. Right. Oh, that's right. Let's hook up. Let's hook up. Attach the rope. That was a dramatic episode last time. If you guys haven't watched the last episode or have missed some out, go and watch them because it just will make like, literally no sense. But, woohoo! Oh my god, it got dramatic very quickly. Oh man, I'm so ready for this. Apparently, it's around uh, three and a half hours long. So it's not. Whoa! Look at those balancing rocks. How did who done that? Has someone done that? That's not like a a random formation. That someone's put that there like that on purpose. Okay. I I understand. Might be going the right way. So quick look. I don't like going the wrong way. I want to go the right way. We are going the right way. So keep following this path, and then we should reach our location at some point. Oh, the gate's there already. How do we get through this gate? There's a fence. There's a fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, there's a gate. Report the gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Yep, yeah, it's locked. God, let me in! I can't get in. <laughs> okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. What's this code mean? 18 US code, some weird symbol, 1863. Does anyone know what that means? Because I have no idea what that means. So I've got to go to a scout outpost or something. Let's find where that is. So we can't go that way. Apparently it's called off by a gate. God damn it. It's over there. That's like the other edge of the map. Okay. How, how, do, we, how do we get there? I have no idea how we get there. I guess we just head down, and I don't know, perhaps go toward the, the sort of medicine wheel and try and find, find a way across, I don't know. Right, let's go back. As long as we're heading south, sort of direction, we should be good, <laughs> hopefully. I guess we've got to head back this way. I mean, this is a, pretty much a whole day. This is a this is a long day for poor old Henry, but he's a little bit tired right now. Right, let's go back up here. Climb up. He's got a lot of rope now. He said he, he found one backpack and it's got like infinite amount of rope in it. I don't know how that's the case, but fair enough. I guess I'll just deal with it. Guess we, it's weird that he, he's, he spoke to um, Julia, but only in his dreams. He hasn't really like made any effort to try and speak to her or anything. He hasn't tried and phoned her, which I do find a little bit odd. All right, so make sure I'm going the right way here because this is... um. It's quite easy to get lost. Oh, music's picked up. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? So it's turned us to head. See, so it's over there. I can definitely see it. I feel like I'm going perhaps the wrong way. I'm branching off my course a little bit. Hey, I called around. 
around, things seem normal with everyone else. Great. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Anything strange with you? Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't reply. Get the thing away. Uh, intercepting. Yeah, I'd probably say that intercept, intercepting our Maybe frequency. intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Agree. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. All right. Uh, I've already reported this before, actually. I think, but wow, fair enough. there's an old. Um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Well, we're going the right way. Good. I'm pleased. <laughs> Very pleased. Right, open supply box. Give me something good. Ooh. Some somebody like in this game. I think it's done by a guy called cool. on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, quick with the map because I have no idea where we are right now. This whole this is all brand new to me, so let's zoom in. All right, so I've got to try and just I think just head a bit more east. So yeah, head that way. Perfect. That's good. I like that. Let's go, guys. Let's march ahead. Let's hike to this scout campy place. I'm hoping they can. Re they can what, what happened? What's this? What happens if the burn gets out of control? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Fired? Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh, what's that right there? What the hell is that? What? A snowmobile? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Why do people stick, keep stealing the sign? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. 
You say it's America. <laughs> but I think we've got I think we're rough, guys. Let's use the camp. I'm hoping they're friendly. Right. Uh I've arrived. Camp Arapaho. You there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the fifties. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. As we can use this slight hill here, perhaps, and just jump it. You try and get in there somehow. Oh, can I go for that? Would I hurt my little legs? We, we may do. This may hurt. Oh, oh, man, he's so manly. I think we're in, guys. I think we're in. I think. I'm not really sure. We say, oh, what's that? Right. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Is that a bear trap? That's a bloody bear trap. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. So what exactly are we looking for right now? <laughs> What's that? Find firefighters in the old scout camp. Pass control. Okay. Quick zoom in. I just got to keep looking around, I guess. Perhaps down here. Oh, there's an axe there. I see an axe. Firefighters are gone. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Got an axe, though. Yeah! That would be useful. I can hack the guys to death. Whoever punched me in the face. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Let's have a read. Squad boss Grant Carson. All right. Uh, 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 in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping in. Ah, it brings up a, a research lab. Someone from called, uh, called Ben Simmons. Upon your return, someone from his office will speak to you about the wildlife risks in that cordoned off area. I told them nothing to worry about yet. It should be fine. All right, cool. So they do mention it briefly. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I don't know, do I? Uh... Me? And you and I aren't very interesting. I think they're studying me. Because of what happened to you before. Everything with Julia. Yeah. Maybe they're studying the effects of something like that? Grief? Grief when you have no other choice but to be alone with your thoughts. So they set up an entire site just for you? Maybe. Oh, I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. <gasps> Control down a tree! Yes! Let's do it. Can I do it? Yes! Oh, sweet! Axe that tree down! Goodbye, tree! Like a beaver! Whee! Done. Sweet. Hop over. Right. Hold. Balance. Balance, Henry. Don't fall. Nice. Alright, so where exactly are we right now in accordance to the to meadow again? We're going back. Uh, right, so we're right there. Hmm. I guess we sort of head back the way we came. I guess. I guess that works. I think I'm missing like a supply crate around here or something. Is it like, is it hidden? We don't have any sort of... Are you there? 
Whoa, what? I, I had a thought. A smoke. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. What the fuck Did was you just that? Cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Well, that got serious all of a sudden. Someone is tapping into our radio. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? What? You've just ignored me all day. Um, why are you so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? what? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info this about one? your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. It's in ship shape, I guess. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Okay. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head Top to row, a place from named the left. after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. So, Cottonwood? Is that correct? Okay. Right, so where is our map? Where? Oh, it's up there, look. I think she's pointed out. That's nice a plug up. <laughs> okay, ignore me. Is there some is there somewhere called Cottonwood? Cotton Cottonwood Creek, perhaps? Let's head out. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Well, let's ignore forest fires. Is that how busy they actually get? Well, that's like very, very busy. Right, so we need to head. Uh, 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 where's the best way to go? Probably back, sort of northwest ish. Northwest ish. So, is this the right way? I think so. I was getting so confused by compasses and stuff. I'm terrible. Yeah, if I head down here, that should be the quickest route, I imagine. Alright, fair enough. Let's go. Let's march ahead, guys. Maybe to start heading south fairly soon. What the fuck was that? Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? So can't report anything anymore? Is that what she's saying? 
Right, I've gone far too far right now. What am I doing? Right, get my little compass out. I need to start heading a bit more south. So south is this way. Yeah, I went the wrong way there. That elk was pretty distressing. And now the guy knows exactly where we are, so... Yes. I was a bit stupid. <laughs> I just, I'm used to just reporting everything and like using that. I want to talk to her like all the time. So that is normally what I try and do. Right, this is, there's normally quite a few different ways out of here. So I need to work out the exact route I want to go. Let's have a quick look. I'm guessing it's literally just south. Yeah, it's just down there. Right, let's go. Down to here. So we're in the burnt area again. I think this is where she, where she wanted us to go. As far as I know. Hmm. I'm a little bit suspicious. What's that? I thought it was a, thought it was a body then. <laughs> that is definitely not a body. That's a log. Right, where does she want us to go in? Is that? Oh. No, don't report it. That was stupid. I guess I have to I have to report it in, but hopefully he does it subtly. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Oh, uh, it must be around here somewhere. Well, this one. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. She's just changed it a little bit. Okay, all right. So I was supposed to call in. I didn't know I was supposed to call in. Uh. Right, what's oh new radio? What? I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. <sighs> hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. We do. Agree. What the fuck is going on? Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. Me too. Me too. Who's doing this? Um, what about the other lookout? Sense. Is this all in my head? It's not in your head. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Oh. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. <sighs> I got to find answers. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Got to get in that site. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys very soon for the next one. And bye-bye.